Okay, right. So th the only way I can see to get into these is basically what I had to do. Oh, I'm not going to touch it because, oh, I can do it, I suppose. Is I had to, you can see, let me just put this back in place. I think it's that way. And uh, that way. All right, see? So you can see, sorry, I didn't show you. Either. So what I've done basically is I've just dremeled that down the middle because I had no other option. I can't see what's going on. And so I dremeled it down the middle just to cut it in half. Right, oh, crikey, here I am not doing it. Right, so you can see how I've cut it down here, basically, down the middle. Just straight down the middle, I didn't care. And then you can see how the transistors are. And basically they've got these, oh, fucking hell, that's really gone. Hang on a sec. Let me just put that there. And you can see one of them. Right, these are... Damn, man! See how it's all sticking together because of the goo? I need something that can basically do that. But you can see how these are actually pairs in the middle. And then there's a bar down the middle, which is that bit there. Okay. And so these clamp the transistors on. Now, because of the uh, this top bus... There's no way to get to those screws. The only way you can do it is to drill through, but then this is a laminated bush. You can see there's separate laminations for this, and I've just basically cut through them all. I think there are probably three laminations there, right, to actually do the conduction. There's the one from the end, because you can see how it's... <clears throat> those are the two uh, positive and negative inputs, and then on this end, we've got the... Uh, it's just cut through, basically, but that's the output. Right, so there's three laminations, there are going to be three laminations there, because they're not three connections to the same thing. And the only way I can see is to drill through it, to get to those holes. But then if you do drill through that, you're going to be cross-connecting the lamination, so you can't do that even. So I don't know how they assembled this. I presume the way they assembled this, basically, is they put all the transistors on. And then uh, they then added the PCBs. Or possibly they added the bus connections first to the to the transistors. Then they added the PCBs, and then they obviously filled it all full of goo last. Uh, but I have found that there are quite a few blown ones. You can see there; those are. Oh, let me turn this over. <coughs> so you can see these guys; they're burned, right? So those blue, obviously. And then uh, let's get this one as well. Uh, this side's fared better, I think. Some of these are still blown. Like you've got one there that's blown. I'm, I mean, the idea is I'm all I'm wanting is I just want the heatsink from this, so I don't care about all that stuff. But I'm showing you all this so you can see how it works. Um, I'm going to diagnose how these connections are done at some point, but not right now because I haven't got the time because I've got to do something else. Uh, yeah, this one's, you know, these three are blown. I think we had an arcing about here somewhere, so obviously it's because of those. So this is pretty much dead. I'm also going to try and find out where the uh, thermistor connection actually is. So we'll be doing that in a future video. But as you can see, this is how it's done. There's like basically there's two two clamped pairs. On this side, it's just two in to clamp. Or they're in pairs, aren't they? Whereas here, you're clamping four with a central bar, and that's how that's done. So I just thought that would be interesting. You see how these are in fours, and the original ones are just in pairs, wherever they are. I can't see where they are now. With the capacitor over the top. You know. Um, you know, <laughs> that must have taken a significant amount of design <clears throat> to basically get it into this set shape. Yeah, and you can see how these are actually offset. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, another row of eight, another row of eight, another row of eight. So that's 32 in an array. Yeah, but we'll be digging this apart and basically I'm going to be planing this all down so it's all flat so I can actually put some new uh, IGBTs on, but singles, like, you know, two half bridges, which effectively with what each side is, it's a half bridge, but yeah, obviously a bit of a mess, blown loads of stuff, but it, this is, I think this is the first video where there's an insight into what, how this is mounted up, and so I'm going to put this on YouTube.